Hello everyone and welcome to this model. My name is David Murillo and I'm a lecturer at the Department of Social Sciences affiliated to the Institute for Social Innovation here at Esade Business School in Barcelona. Since some time ago, scholars like me have been worried about how to integrate social innovation in sustainable business models. We have focused our attention in all kinds of organizations. This is businesses, public entities and NGOs. With the aim of analyzing and providing information and knowledge on this subject, since 2011 we have published several works under an umbrella collection named Antenna for Social Innovation. We are going to share some of the insights we have collected these last years with you here. In this model you will learn how sustainability can be integrated into business models from a point of view of social innovation. In this sense, this is your opportunity to expand your knowledge in this field while learning from already existing experiences. To do so, we will present two concrete cases, the Behavioral Insights Sim and Blah Blah Car, and we'll analyze them through the lens of social innovation. This model is distributed in five different sections. In this one, we introduce the model and its workload. The second one focuses on social innovation from a theoretical viewpoint and provides the framework for which we will analyze the different cases. The third section is devoted to our first case, the behavioral insights team. The fourth will introduce and make us work on a case related with the sharing economy, that is, blah, blah, car. Finally, in the fifth section, complementary materials and documents are going to be presented in order to provide further knowledge on how sustainable business models can be developed. All this will be done by using the different tools that we have at our disposal related with the topic. Each of the sections has an assigned workload which depends on the amount of knowledge and type of activities associated. As you will see, the second section incorporates the theoretical model and in consequence, it will require some more time for the participants than the devoted to the rest of the sections. Having said this, an average of an hour, hour workload would be enough for it. Once we are aware of the amount of work needed to complete the different activities, we want now to introduce the key learning points. Our specific aims are the following ones. To provide a theoretical model to help you understand cases of social innovation, to show how to analyze real examples of social innovation, to provide specific instances that reveal how both the for-profit and the non-for-profit sectors apply social innovation as a tool for designing successful strategies, to help assessing the social impact that they generate, and finally, to trigger in you the curiosity to perhaps start thinking on potentially new business ideas that incorporate the key variables of social innovation. Each section has some materials to complement the knowledge provided in the videos. The aim of these complementary materials is to go deeper into the information presented here and expand it. These materials can be documents, videos, activities, links, as well as many other types of additional resources. This is all right now. See you in a while and enjoy.